Hello friends, in this video I'll show you how to reduce the size of an Excel file, like and subscribe, support the channel, let's get started. So this large Excel file was created, consisting of several sheets, two of which contain ordinary data with thousands of rows. Several other sheets contain a pivot table and data related to it. And the last sheet contains two full HD images. This is the original size of our file, and now we will try to reduce its size a little more. Most often the problem of increasing the size of the file and its slow operation is related to the large used range of the sheet. This is the range that Excel remembers and works with every time. If you use only a few cells on a worksheet, but once you had a thousand row table there, then even after deleting it, Excel will process all these rows, thereby slowing down the file and increasing its size. Therefore, we go to the very bottom of the table, we don't do this manually, but use the control down arrow keys, then select the row below the most recent needed row and press the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus Shift plus down arrow, thereby selecting all remaining rows to the end of the sheet. And now click the right mouse button and select delete. We do the same with the columns. We go to the end of the very last column of the range with the data, Ctrl plus right arrow. Select the next column and press the keys, Ctrl plus shift plus right arrow. Then the right mouse button and delete. And then we do the same thing on each sheet of the Excel workbook. And here is what we got. On the left is the source file, and on the right is the file size after deleting the empty cells. As you can see, the file size has become slightly smaller. So we continue. What else can we do? We can save our file in binary format instead of the default format. If you don't use your data in third-party programs, However, for most purposes, a binary firmware that is saved in a smaller file is sufficient. Go to the file, save as, browse, and in the save as type field, select the Excel binary workbook format and click save. And as you can see, we managed to reduce the file size a little more. On the left is the file saved after the previous method, and on the right is the file saved in binary format. The difference in size between the files is obvious. If desired, all your files can be saved as binary by default. You need to change one setting. Go to File, Options, Save. In the Save Files in this format list, select Excel Binary Workbook and click OK. Since our file has a pivot table, we can slightly reduce the file size by not saving the search data cache of the pivot table along with the file, but by updating the data cache when opening the spreadsheet. What needs to be done? Select any cell in the pivot table. An additional tab for the pivot table appears and we select it. Then go to Options, Data, uncheck Save Search Data with File and check the box Refresh Data when opening the file. So what did we get? On the left we have the file saved after the last time. And on the right is the file that we have received now. It's a small difference, but it's also a good way to reduce the file size. And finally, we need to do something with the images. They are large and take up a lot of space. The first thing we can do is save our inserted images in a lower resolution. We go to File, Options, Advanced, scroll down to the Image Size and Quality section and check the box Discard Editing Data. This option deletes the saved data that was used to restore the original state of the image after editing it. That is, if you cropped the image or otherwise changed it, then by checking this box you will not be able to restore the image. Next, in the default resolution list, we select a resolution of 115 dpi or lower. Now click OK, save our file and let's look at the result. 
We have the original file on the left, the file from the last time in the center, and the one just saved on the right. As you can see, the difference between file sizes is significant at this stage. That's all, now we know a little more. Thanks for watching.